Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I'm at my favorite tool store. You know it, I'm at Harbor Freight. And I was walking through and I took a look at some of their new tool bag offerings and I thought, man, I should buy a couple of these and do videos on them, but I think it's gonna be more importantly to just show you their lineup and give you guys the options. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so some of my favorite bags are the grab bags. Um, quick and easy ones, $7.99. Now those are the ones that I issue out to uh, teammates for grab bags. It's got, you know, general wrenches, some Allens, stuff like that. Uh, just everything you need to solve most of your problems. But take a look at this lineup. Now I've got plenty of these style bags up here because those style bags you come with power tools and you guys know, I like the power tools. But let's take a look at some of these open frames. So you got that one. Look at this little Hercules right here. Very similar to the Milwaukee that I just had, only this one's got a rigid handle, so it doesn't flop around as much. The Hercules bags are actually really good. So let's take a look. Here's a larger model. All oh, the pouches inside, external pouches. Open frames are good if you work in a facility. Take a look at this. This is where I would normally keep all my uh, tags, my PM tags and whatnot. And uh, wow, take a look at this. It's got a pouch that's open at one side, which is really interesting because sometimes you have longer things like zip ties and whatnot. And uh, you know, you can leave them hanging out because the zipper doesn't come down here. Interesting. I could come up with some stuff for that bag. This one. It is a beast. Look how huge it is. It's obviously intended for some sort of industry, but it is what it is. So for $24, this is going to be one of my favorite grab bags. You see the Hercules 18 inch. You can see that one back there. Hercules bags, one of the reasons that I like them is because they have the larger zippers, heavier duty zipper. Almost everything on the Hercules items is gonna be heavier duty than it is gonna be someplace else on one of the other models. Um, but here, let's see, for $14, we got a 16 inch bag. Okay, so you can see we got pockets on the outside of the 18. We have no pockets on the outside of the 16, but that's okay. Although I do like putting PM tags and stuff in those pockets. Oh, it's zipped up in it. This is definitely harder to do with one hand. So these ones are okay. This is not. Oh, jeez. It's like a mountain of bags ready to fall down. This is not really what I wanted to show you guys. Take a look at this guy right here. This is one of my favorite bags. 16 inch largemouth tool bag. Look inside this guy. External pockets, the good external pockets, not the little flappy ones that are just flopping around. Look at this. It's actually got a rigid outer pocket. It's got grab handles because, you know, you can always use grab handles. Now in here is where I normally put like PM tags for the day, the month, battery change tags. I put all that kind of stuff right here in these flat pockets, but look at the inside of this bag. It's got a pouch, it's really good. You can put consumables in there and plenty of space for tools. This Hercules bag, this is the HA0512. This is one of my favorite bags. It's got a removable insert. That is a really cool bag. I have no idea how much it is here though. What is it? Oh, 15, 59.99? Excellent price, excellent price. They got rivets on the straps, heavy duty zipper. That's gonna be one of my favorite tool bags, guys. This is why I wanted to make the video. So they do have the Bauer brand and then they got their step up, which is the Hercules. And the Bauer is 74, the Hercules is 139. Now the cool thing about this one, first off, I always go for the zippers, guys. 
It's got the nice, large, heavy-duty zipper. It's got an attached, rigid pocket, which is really nice. It's, it's, there's no pockets on the inside of this guy, but if you're storing something like your phone or things like that, you know, you throw it in that. Um, it has a detachable front pocket with a rigid, expandable pocket with inner pockets on top of that. I mean, this bag is loaded, loaded with features, absolutely loaded. And on the inside, this is one of the things that is really cool about this bag. So we have multiple pockets on the front face. We have a replaceable middle pocket. Look at, and that's, that's kind of a semi padded pocket itself. Pockets down here. So I'd put my meter or something in this middle piece. This will flop out of the way. And look at all that tool storage. I hope my camera can pick it up. So these backpacks, they can get heavy real quick. This one, take a look at these straps. Extra thick straps, we got the padding. We've got uh, lumbar spacing right here. And pads, really good pads. That's the worst part about almost every other bag on the market is that they have poor, poor padding. Let's take a look at this guy over here. This one's got a fraction of the amount of padding. You can feel that the padding in the straps is definitely a probably a worse quality. But I mean, you get what you pay for. It's twice the price. Yeah. Still a really good bag though. I mean, for a tool bag, for a general technician, this is still a really good bag. It's got extra reinforcing up here for the, the top strap, but not like this one. So check out the Hercules top strap. This is your grab handle. You can see it's got a braided uh, steel cable that comes down and it's riveted right into the backbone of the bag. Really cool, I like that. I like these D-rings because uh, I can clip a lot of things on there. Um, right here's a tape measure pocket rather large side pocket rigid bottom this one also has a rigid bottom this one's much deeper rigid bottom but that Hercules it's the HA024 what a cool bag it's a it's a beast probably more than what a lot of techs do need but for road tech I say this is prime bag How cool is that? I can feel that these straps have some sort of reinforcing. That's probably a bag hang tag. Definitely these straps are much better built than on that bag. But nonetheless, like, look at how thick this, this thing is just built to last. So at $139, that is gonna be probably a prime bag for some road techs out there. I like that you can detach the front piece, not only to ease the load, but also based on what your loadout's gonna be for the job, you can detach or reattach. I'd probably put consumables in that little pouch in the front. Easy to get to. Very cool, guys. So anyway, Harbor Freight, um, they actually have some good stuff and, and they're getting better, especially with the introduction of Hercules line of tools and tool bags uh, I would say it's probably a better option than most of the other things on the market at the moment um, your local Harbor Freight check them out or buy it online easy to do so anyway guys I gotta get back to work thanks for watching